Uh, my name is Mark Kendall. I'm the writer performer for The Magic Negro. The title of the show uh, is The Magic Negro, Another Black in Blackness. Uh, it's told by an African American man who also happens to be black. It's a one person sketch show, so it's me uh, hopping between different characters, uh, exploring uh, kind of like the representation of African American males in the media. But I'm using comedy to do that. Sometimes I might be addressing the audience, sometimes I might be uh, playing several characters interacting amongst themselves. <laughs> Okay, fine, Jason, how about this? Earlier today, I was walking through the department store, and the entire time, the store clerk was following me. Why? Because I am a black man. <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> I don't think that store clerk was following you around because you were black man. I think they was following you around because you were leprechaun. <laughs> that store clerk probably thought, hey, maybe if I follow around this leprechaun long enough, to his <laughs> the, the host for the show and the main character of the show that I play is uh, this character called the Magic Negro. And it's a weird, fascinating character to me. And so I felt like that would be the person that kind of like guides the audience through this show, uh, exploring uh, race uh, in America. What's a Magic Negro, you ask? You've seen me before. <laughs> I'm that kind old black man in the movies. He uses his wisdom and supernatural powers to help guide the white male protagonist through the narrative of the film. <laughs> Think of me as uh, Uncle Remus in Song of the South, uh, Michael Clark Duncan in The Green Mile, or Morgan Freeman in <laughs> so the tone of the show is, is, like I said before, it's very much a comedy. So, you know, I, I want people to, you know, come in expecting to be a comedy, like it's okay to laugh at these things. Um, but at the same time, uh, you may not feel comfortable laughing at everything, and that's okay. And that's kind of like where the show kind of starts from, this place that, um, you know, you know, why do we laugh at the things that we do? It's finally happened. The Atlanta Braves have moved to Cobb County. <laughs> and in a crazy turn of events, they are building martyr trains straight to the new stadium. <laughs> now historically, historically, Cobb County has restricted martyr from spreading to the area, but no more. So you know what this means. We have finally taken black crime to Cobb County. <laughs> It's been a long time coming, but a change has come. This is something we have always wanted to do. But it's only possible now that we have trains. I feel like with comedy, if it's personal and true to you, you know, you can kind of like talk about anything as long as it's funny, you know? Uh, once it's not anymore, then I think it becomes something a little different. So for me in making the show and as I continue to develop this show, uh, the, the top priority really is that it, it delivers on it being a comedy first. It's not, it's not a magic show. <laughs> I guess that's the main thing. If, if you were expecting magic, you would be so disappointed. I'll be so sorry, but you'll still be able to get on this. I don't know.